Hi all, in this video let's take a look at solving this kind of equation that says sine of 2 theta equals 1. So this is a video for those who really want to understand things. Before we get to this one, I need to review how to solve a more basic equation that says sine of theta equals 1. Then we'll see how this relates to that. So imagine, I'm going to begin with something simpler that says sine of theta equals 1. What does this mean? It means finding values of theta, uh, for example, either on a unit circle or from a graph, where the value of the sine function is 1. Remember that the value of the sine function is just a y-coordinate at each angle on a unit circle. I'm going to take, and I'm going to now draw a graph. Without a graph, this can be seen very abstract. So let's do that. Take a look. I'm going to draw the graph for sine of theta first. So I'm going to do that down below here. Try to make it pretty big so everything fits. It's easy to read off. Okay. This is going to be our y. The theta axis is the horizontal axis. And let's see here. So imagine, for the sake of neatness, that this is pi over 2 over here. Okay, that's pi over 2. So then that's four spaces. Let me count that off. So that would be then pi. I'm going by pi over 2. This would be another four spaces. That would be 3 pi over 2. And the last one would be spaces that would be 2 pi. Let's make a picture of one cycle of sine theta. So let's see here. Peaks at pi over 2, the basic sine graph. I'm making a picture of that. And imagine that here, uh, say this is 1. Four spaces that way is 1. I'm not keeping the same scale, not too important. And imagine this is negative 1, okay? So it's going to peak about here. It's going to go through pi, which is 0. It's going to go through pi over 2, which is its lowest value here. And then come back to, to pi over here. And when we say sine of theta equals 1, graphically what it means is this, right here. That solves the equation. We're saying find the angle where the value of the sine function is equal to 1. So that is right here at pi over 2 for this basic sine function, pi over 2. So I could write down the solution as pi over 2. Theta equals pi over 2 for that reason. But then the question is what happens with sine of 2 theta equals 1? That's a little bit different. Remember that for the basic sine of theta equals 1, for the basic sine function over here, this is the period, correct? It's from 0 to 2 pi. When you multiply the angle by a number, you're changing the period, which means all the solutions are to an equation like this are also changed. What I mean is, let me make this note. 0 is less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to 2 pi. So this is the period over which you graph one cycle of the sine function. And within that one cycle, sine of theta equals 1 at pi over 2, the way the green arrows here show. So when you have sine of 2 theta equals 1, you very likely want to realize that the period is changed first. So the new period will look like this. Wherever you see theta in this basic period inequality, just replace it with 2 theta. And you need to do that because this adjusts the period for you automatically. So then divide by 2. And you have 0 is less than or equal to theta, which is less than or equal to pi. This is different. This is telling us that the period for sine to theta has been divided by 2. In other words, right here, where you did 2 pi divided by 2, you divided the period by 2, so you've shrunk it. So that means, essentially, that the following will happen. Now, take a look. Let's go back to the graph. Let's make a picture of sine of 2 theta. So the red one is sine of theta. Let's make in blue here a picture of sine of 2 theta. The period now for that one is pi, which means that it has to peak about here. It has to go down to here. Okay, it has to go to its low point somewhere in the middle here. So that would be about here. And then go back to pi. See that? So that light blue curve, that represents... So this is sine of 2 theta. Just like the red one was sine of theta directly. The period has changed. But this has a very specific effect, which is this. Take a look. Now you see that the solution to right here, sine of 2 theta, that's equal, as you can see, to 1. That angle now is right here. That angle is pi over 4. It's one half of the original angle. So what is this calculation showing us? It's showing us kind of something important, which is the original period for sine of theta is 0 to pi. The new period... For the blue curve, which I'm tracing here, that's equal to pi. But that means that the solution to the equation sine of 2 theta equals 1 also has been cut in half. So in other words, sine of theta equals 1 is solved by pi over 2. Right here, it's pi over 2. That solves, you see, it's right here. 1. 
but that means that the solution to sine of 2 theta equals 1 is also cut in half, so pi over 4 is 1 half of pi over 2, you see that? And it's still equal to 1. The period gets adjusted, but so do the solutions to the equation get adjusted the same way. And now, let's take one last step, which is this one here. Because of this reasoning, whatever you have in here, in this position, let me emphasize this key point, whatever you have in here in this position, remember that was also used to be uh, as a replacement for the inequality, which then gave you the new thetas, the new period in other words. Whatever you have, that 2 theta, and its ultimate value has to be equal to pi over 2. Why? Because it's only sine of pi over 2 equals 1. Not sine of pi over 4 directly. Sine of 2 times pi over 4 equals 1. But sine of pi over 4 directly does not equal 1. You have to be really careful. So what it's telling us is that whatever you plug in for theta and sine of 2 theta, to make it equal to 1, ultimately the value of this expression has to be equal to pi over 2 and not something different. So you can't just plug pi over 2 into sine of 2 times pi over 2. That won't work anymore. So you gotta set up a little equation like whatever this 2 theta is, set it equal to pi over 2, and then you multiply by 1 half, so theta will be equal to pi over 4, which just confirms our graphical solution that I drew right here anyway. Okay? And that's the general concept. So I hope you can see all of this. The big idea is, if you're going to change the period of a trig function, and if you have an equation, you take your function, set it equal to a value, then the solutions are also changed accordingly. Again, let me emphasize that. In our case, the period went from being 2 pi on the basic sign to being pi on this sine of 2 theta, which means the solution went from being pi over 2 to getting cut in half, so it became pi over 4 right here. Everything gets cut the same way. Thank you so much. Please leave a like. I hope it's been helpful.